Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 10, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. Then say he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shad, Hashem, and Karkadash. In the Heavenly Father's true name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Hashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shad. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole tongue. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say, uh, Shalom to the Akwaf as well too, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out from longwarjournal.org, uh, published by Billy Rug Ruglo, if I pronounce his name right, as of October 30th, 2023, from longwarjournal.org, and it reads Iran back militarized continues to attack U.S. bases in Iraq and Syria. It says the Iranian Iran backed militarized launched at least four attacks on the U.S. bases in Iraq and Syria since the U.S. military attempts to re establish the Tyrians by striking at Iranian weapon storage sites in Syria on October 27. The militarized assault threatens to pull the U.S. into a regional war as Israel prepares to enter. Uh, Gaza and engage in ground operations to destroy Hamas and allies groups. The, Israq, the, the Isra Iraqi and Syrian militaries, which have been established by Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps and were informed to battle U.S. forces in Iraq as well as the Islamic State. The Al Al Qaeda and various Syrian rebel groups have been ramping up pressure on the U.S. military in the wake of Hamas' deadly assault on southern Israel on October 7. The militaries have launched at least 24 strikes, primarily with drones, rockets, and mortars on U.S. military bases in Iraq and Syria since October 17, according to Kurla by the Voice of America. On October 27, the U.S. military attacked weapons and ammunition storage areas that were connected to the IRGC in the east of Syria. The U.S. military says the proposals of the attacks were to deteriorate Iran from encouraging the militaries to launch more attacks. In the process, the U.S. announced that it didn't seek escalations, which is likely to proceed by Iran and its proxies as weakening the CL. The uh, CLJ report, U.S. military strike, Iranian assets in Syria after weeks of military attacks. It says one assault took place today at the An Al Hassan Air Base in Amber Province in Iraq. Two of those military attacks took place on October 29th, which was yesterday, as the U.S. bases in Al Hashadari ha Hashika, uh if I pronounce that right, Providence and the uh, Omar Oil Field in Deir uh, El Zar Providence, both in Syria. The other uh, two strikes took place on October 27 after the U.S. military announced its assault on the IRGS depots on the attack target, the Omar Oil Field, while the others in it uh, and Al Assad Air Base. Most of the strikes have been claimed by little known groups as the Islamic Resistance. Iraq IRI, the IRI was established in 2020 to a certain clearinghouse for smaller Iran backed militaries, but which themselves are offshoots or fronts or more established larger militaries such as Hezbollah, Bridget, Asab, Al Aqad. Arakat, Hezbollah, and Al Nujaba, and Qatar Al Shiddi, and Al Shodahada. The IRI adds another layer to the uh, uh, possible, uh, possible deniability for Iran. 
which directs and supports these proxy militaries behind the scenes. The U.S. government is in difficult situation with the, its bases in Iraq and Syria, which have been established to battle the Islamic State. Some of the bases are remote locations are sp sparely maimed. If the militaries, many of which are battle hardened by years of combat, muster their forces, some of these bases could be in danger of being overturned. It's the book of uh, Luke, chapter 21, verse 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by end by. And this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 10, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Then say he unto them, nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying of this recent news article uh, from longwarjournal.org. As of October the 30th, 2023, and it reads, Iran-backed militaries continues to attack bases in Iraq and Syria. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, and Karkadash. And the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh. His only begotten Son, Bahashem, in the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lash Karkadash, the Holy Tongue. And shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And shalom to the uh, Aqua sisters as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.